Hey, hey everybody. Um, this is Matt Freemat with the Freemat Podcast. We are, generally speaking, a libertarian roundtable discussion format uh, YouTube channel. The bad part is my usual partner, General Patrick Flynn, the Honduran love machine, is not available. Um, now... We both have had health problems lately, but kind of surfaced for a little bit. Fossil's had some work issues, but hey, no big deal, guys. Um, well, I already told you all, libertarian, libertarian uh, discussion panel. Um, my thing today, uh, this was a follow-up uh, several weeks ago. Richard Cremo, um, weird dude over in, uh, say, Chicago, who took fire at a bunch of people. It is a mass shooting, and obviously in Chicago, uh, I want to say tragedy of killing people. I know there's a lot of folks that joke and say, well, that's Chicago, but I don't feel that it's good. Obviously, I feel it's terrible. Uh, Richard Cremo looked like a, I want it to me, was a disturbed young man, um, had a weird background. I don't think his family was very intact. Um strange kid just weird like you can dig around i'll leave a link or something but here's the thing um i was i i don't think here's the thing the liberal solution everything about banning guns like it was like it was a fix for everything it's not and there's there's other things we should fix and it's it's inside you and me just everyday people and not the government to fix things and um I made the complaint that we have a soul sickness, and I, I don't can't com, I can't explain that. That's not even scientific. Uh, my atheist r r realist people will tell say that's not real. It's not, but there's a, I don't want to say a cultural bunch of cultural issues and uh, just illness like a, a, a sickness of sorts, but. There was a snippet from Star Parker, and this was June 1st. It's a little old, but I'm going I'm to roll with it. Uh, there was a title. It says, Gun Laws Will Not Fix a Problem of Culture and Spirit. And um, um, one of the things that she was getting at, and, and by the way, it's from the courtesy of Archimax. Star Parker is the lady's name. I'll try and leave a, I'll try and leave a link tomorrow. I mean, uh, below. Yeah, tomorrow. Go read it tomorrow. Um, it says, In this vacuous culture of entitlement and meaningless, lost young men periodically make their presence known through violent expressions, sometimes directed at others, sometimes towards themselves. I do not pretend that this is simple. I certainly agree that the security measures should be taken, particularly in schools. George Washington warned the nation in his farewell address that there is no freedom without faith, tradition, and personal responsibility. And, of, of course, they go on to mention about liberals wanting to get more government like it's a solution. But, um, it, it's sad because I was at the, Guys, I was at the tail end, and I wanted to make snippets separately, but um, she had mentioned that the nation witnessed a horrible, pointless act of violence with innocent children, the victims. Um, once we hear from liberals, the answer is gun control, and we look at what generally characterizes the mindset of those generally young men who commit these acts, and we see what generally characterizes the mindset that has taken hold of our whole culture. Victimhood, blame, and denial of personal responsibility. Can this be an accident? Um, and the thing is that uh, she has mentioned that the Wall Street Journal uh, pointed to the incidents, uh, these incidents, as a sign of social and spiritual, spiritual, you got me, problem in the country. And it's the rise of family dysfunction and the decline of mediating institutions such as churches and social clubs, have consequences. Now, I've mentioned that one of the ugly, ugly things, you know, the the, the wokest have said about uh, 
not letting men have men's clubs and men's having men environment where men talk about men's things and there's a problem women can't treat men men generally govern men the best and i'm talking about brothers talking about you know like soul brother talking about people like friends close friends and associates people that govern each other and um, they go on to say here the signs of a society that that, it, that is sick are all around us the collapse of family the collapse of interest in marriage and having children um, I would make a small disagreement with some of this but family as in like tight-knit groups yes we are more alone and it's hurting us um, and mention about uh, di Americans dying from drug overdoses in 2021 it said uh, oh goodness 107,000 107 with three zeros 107,000 an all-time high and 15 percent increase over the previous year um, they said the suicide rate according to the National Institute of Mental Health bear with me suicide rate in the US increased from 35.2 percent and that was from 99 to 2018. It's a big jump. Even though it's over 10 years, it's still a big jump. It said suicide was a second leading cause of death among young people, 10 to 34. And the fourth leading cause of death among individuals, 34 to 44. Imagine heart disease and car crashes are up there, but I'm not making light of that. Um, a common a characteristic common to suicides and mass killings is that the per perpetrate, perpetrators, you got me, are dis disproportionately men. Men, generally young men, they commit indiscriminate mass murder, and men take their own lives at a rate almost four times higher than women. And as much as people don't want to hear about, I mentioned about suicide among young men being it's it's a it's a tragedy and it's almost like a it's almost like i call it a genocide like i've called veteran suicides a genocide it's a silent genocide um and of course it says so men demonstrate in a most unpleasant way another truth that our liberal friends want to deny men are different than from women and there's only two genders by the way not just in physical makeup but also in spiritual psychological makeup Okay, for whatever reason, are increasingly godless. I use that term godless as in purpose, because even atheists can have structure. Materialistic, morally empty culture, yeah, we have empty culture, seems to take a particularly heavy toll on men. And they looked at, um, uh, the, the American Enterprise Institute looked into a recent phenomena prime age men 25 to 54 who just left the labor market they don't care they stop working and it's called nilf and i almost said milf but nilf not in the labor force um according to the gentleman at the aei the total number of nilf men held steady in the 40s and 50s around 1 million then in the 60s it exploded Another 7 million prime age men who withdrawn from the workforce. Um, and of course, the labor force participation rate of men, the percentage working age men in the workforce was 86.2% in January 1950. In April 2022, it was 68%. And it says the labor force participation rate for women has almost doubled over the same period. 33.4% in January 1950 to 56.7 in April 2022. And it says we've gone from a culture centered on centered on church to a culture centered on government. I would make the argument that if we had it centered on small groups and purpose and supporting other men supporting other men structured lives be a lot different of course the Gallup had said uh, they spit out a couple of numbers saying that uh, church participations dropped according to Gallup um, it well it didn't surprise me but what I was getting at was that I've seen 
like men's groups. I've seen fraternal organizations dying, closing up shop. And it's, it's a hard sell, but if we had purpose and we were, we had grown thinking that it was a necessity and importance, it'd be a lot different. And to save, I don't say save, save the internal mechanisms, culture and spirit, we have to go back to things like that. Do we have to change how we do it? Yes, because uh, even veterans organizations aren't good at dealing with veterans anymore. And we're struggling to reach out to Desert Storm and uh, Iraq Point Two. Um, nobody likes me saying that. That's what I call it. Uh, we even had, uh, it was it OEF, OIF, uh, Afghanistan, what in Iraq. Um, it's really difficult to reach out to people. And we do have, uh, I want to say just narcissism and people can't think of themselves inside of others and not in a perverted way, but like in a spiritual way, being a part of other people's lives, having purpose, being a, being purposeful to others. And I, I think if we started embracing that, we could push ourselves from the ledge. And I know that people are like, oh, I've heard you say a bunch of nut job things about other people and what have you. I'm telling you, I want people to become a part of other people's lives again. I want us to back away from uh, the narcissism. And it's more than it's more than you. It's more than me. And back to the Richard Cremo thing. It looks like he was lost. It's looked like he was grabbing at straws. There's no, there's no the elder brother like the old uncle, who shows you a direction. There's, I mean, I'm struggle with it myself. People not having folks in their lives, especially young men, and I, I want y'all to start thinking that way. It's more than guns. This is like a cry for help, and it was you know, making me famous, like the one thing I could do to, for, to be notable in somebody else's life is not me, but like, a, a, you know, the Richard Cremos or, uh, Nicholas Cruz, it was to, to make this ultimate gesture to make people listen to you. And it's terrible. It's terrible to kill people. It's terrible to be the person doing the killing. And I'm just telling you that's, we can make all the gun law stuff we can, but it won't stop this pain. And and it, you just have to get rid of it. We have to find ways. We have to care. We have to be families. We have to be groups. We have to be fraternal organizations. We have to let men heal other men. And no, we can't expect, you know, men to fix themselves by the feminist standard of being broken being broken, uh, what, do you, what do you guys call that? They said it was, you know, uh, they think they're just broken women, and they're not. They're men. They're, they're men in need of help, and other men can do that. Now, um, that's pretty much the end of this. Um, guys, hit notifications, hit the like, hit subscribe. Um, do stay tuned for further, uh, for further videos. I'm trying to put things together, but way down there, should be a link to this article and the blog go find you a, a, a short article to read i try to put things together interesting history libertarian news uh just in a commentary jokes humor just just check it out and here's the thing if if you feel like you're being like pushed to the edge please reach out for help there are plenty of people to help there's plenty of people to care I don't want people to do this stuff. I don't want people to commit suicide. I want you to find health. Health, yeah, I do want you to find health. Health and help. So uh, please take care of yourself and don't hesitate to reach out to, to people. Somebody cares, man. All right. Now, uh, I will see you at a later date. <laughs>